my name is Katie Schmidt, and I'm an occupational therapist student here at Western Michigan University. I am also an anatomage table coach. Today I'm going to show some of the features that make this tool good for studying and learning about the human body. The first tool I'm going to show you is the dissection tool. I'm going to do it first because it takes a minute to load. As you can see, I drew a shape and it's now dissecting everything within that shape. It takes a minute to load because it's really dissecting layer by layer in detail. It makes it a great study tool and it's very simple to use. There's three different types of dissection. There's a straight line dissection, there's an isolating tool, and this freestyle shape that I use. As you can see here, it took away the first layer, and now I'm able to dissect. As you touch each body part, it will take it away, but also tell you what you just took away, so you know where you're going. You can also undo something that you took away, so if you make a mistake, it's no big deal. Finally, you can remove the entire dissection to either dissect another part or learn more about the human body in a different way using the table. Along with dissection on the full cadaver, there are also different parts of this table that can be dissected, such as the heart. This is also a heart that has been scanned on to this table. It shows how it beats. This is part of the physiology section of the table, and it's very useful to see actual motion. One really cool feature of this table is you can dissect this heart to see what's going on inside while it's beating. As you can see here, I drew a line, and that dissected half of it. Now, I can twist it to see inside, and I can even play the motion again. This is useful for students who are in anatomy or physiology, or who just want to see what is going on inside the heart during its beating. Another nice feature of this table is the case library that comes inside of it. Here you see different conditions or issues with the body, scans, MRIs, and many other different images that can help you study. Here is an ankle fracture. What's nice about the table is you can draw on it and you can move it around. So I've drawn a circle around the fracture. You can also undo that or move it around so that you can see it. This is really useful for studying. There's also a way to dissect straight down, and now you can see inside the body as well. These features are really nice for seeing the inside of the body and learning more about the structures. Finally, the last feature I want to show is how to isolate a bone. I am going to choose the specific system that I want to look at, which is the skeletal in this situation. And I'm going to choose the isolate a bone feature. Here you can see I've isolated the right femur. This can make it easier to study so that you can specifically look at the exact area that you want. You can also move it around and label it for studying. Another feature is taking a bone away. This could also be helpful if you're just trying to look at one thing but you have another structure that's in the way. Finally, the best feature of this table, in my opinion, is the ability to navigate it with ease. 
there are so many different ways to move it. You can go up and down, you can rotate, and if you want to just go back to the regular view, there are buttons to do that as well. There are so many great features in this anatomage table, and it makes it really useful for studying the human body. Come check out our open hours if you'd like to have experience with the table with an anatomage coach who can also help you navigate as well. Thank you.